Welcome back to Living Local. Borrowing books isn't all you can do at the Davenport Public Library. It offers a wide variety of creative and educational programs and events for people of all ages. From babies to seniors, there's something fun for everyone. And all library events are free and open to the public. Joining me in studio is Christy Wood. She is the Youth Services and Programming Librarian. Thank you so much for being here, Christy. Yeah, thanks for having me. So before we get into the specific events that are happening upcoming, uh, can you tell us a little bit more about why the library offers free events to the community and programs. Um, that's just a large part of what we do as a community organization. We offer programs um, free of cost so that you know people who might not have the resources to go um, pay for activities and things like that can come and um, enjoy activities for free and get out in the community and just have some fun at the library. Yeah, I think it's surprising to a lot of people that a library isn't just a building with books in it. You guys really do so much more beyond that. Uh, what kind of events can people expect to see at the library throughout the year? Oh wow, we do so many different things mm -hmm. from obviously book clubs. We have book clubs for kids. We do parties throughout the year. We're having a Hamilton party coming up. Um, all ages things really. Uh, we have a lot of guests come in from different organizations. We've had beer brewing um, programs from local breweries that come in and teach that. Um, just all kinds of things really. Such a wide variety oh, yeah. that you guys are offering. <laughs> now, as the youth services and programming librarian, uh, crafts programs are an important facet of that. What makes the crafts program so special at the library? Uh, we put a lot of effort into making things fun for kids and of course crafts are important for kids to do. Um, the help with fine motor skills and coordination, the help um, kids with self-confidence, it helps them to be able to build things and put things together and just kind of be creative. It really helps with self-confidence in that way. And Christy, you brought some examples of some of the <laughs> holiday crafts that you guys are going to be doing at the library. Walk us through them. Yeah, well, this Thursday at 6 o'clock at the Eastern Avenue Library, we'll be having our holiday crafts program. Mm -hmm. So some of the things we'll be doing, we have jingle bell necklaces you can make. Oh, we I'm have... sure parents will love those. <laughs> Kids watch. Oh, yes. We have different bells and yeah. beads and things. They can design their own necklace. Oh, that's uh, so fun. We have some Christmas tree ornaments you can make. Mine's pretty basic, but we have a lot of different <laughs> things you can use to decorate those. It looks like those those are just uh, popsicle sticks almost? Yep, painted okay. green, and we have some little fluff balls here, and we'll have some different sequins and things like that that you can use to decorate those. Awesome, so, so the kiddos exciting. can get really creative with that. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have some little pom-pom characters here. I have a little snowman I made, but oh. we'll have reindeer and Santas and penguins and things like that also. But you can just make a little little pom-pom character here. So we'll also have um, cookie decorating. We'll have sugar cookies and frosting and sprinkles and things you can make so should be a lot of fun and we usually get a lot of people for it so um, a lot of fun with other kids if you want to come and hang out and get in the Christmas spirit and Christy as you're designing these programs how do you go about deciding what kind of activities and crafts the kids will be doing uh, well we just kind of go by age group mm -hmm. and what ages we think will usually come you know this is kind of for younger kids school age kids things like that so we just look around we have offices full of different random mm -hmm. things we can use to make crafts with so we just kind of look around at what we have and try and get inspired about what kids will like to make and Pinterest of course is very useful oh, in I finding love Pinterest. ideas oh yes <laughs> it's great. we use that a lot at the <laughs> library so and what's the reaction that you get from kiddos that come into the programs and are doing crafts or doing any other type of educational event that you guys have? It's all very positive. Kids, I mean, even things like the popsicle stick mm -hmm. ornament, you know, it seems pretty basic to most adults, but kids get really excited to do this kind of stuff. And it's really great to see, you know, how happy they are to come into the library. And then of course they stop and look at books and check things out. And it just gives them a really positive experience at the library. Yeah, the library is such a positive resource in our community and it's free. Like oh, yes. that's one thing <laughs> that I think is such an important thing to hit on is that there are so many events, programs, books, uh, you can rent a lot of stuff from oh, the library, yes. and it's all at no charge. So it's like you might as well take advantage of this of course, free yes. resource. So where and when is the Holiday Craft? I know you briefly mentioned it's Thursday, so which library is it at? That's at the Fairmount Street Library. Mm -hmm. Yes, this Thursday at 6 o'clock. 
and who can attend? Um, anybody can attend. Um, it's geared towards kids, but I mean, anybody of any age can come and enjoy some crafts and some Christmas cookies. Very exciting. Is the <laughs> library holding any other holiday type of events uh, throughout the season? Oh, yes. We do a lot, <laughs> especially the month of December. We mm -hmm. do a lot of different things. Um, this Saturday at the Eastern Avenue branch, if you're a fan of the Grinch, we have mm -hmm. our Whoville party. So it's going to be all Dr. Seuss things, um, games, crafts, activities, snacks, things like that. So that one's going to be our big one of the year. So oh, that'll that be a lot so of fun. Exciting. Yes, we're also having a different um, Christmas cookie decorating program, mm -hmm. um, an ornament ornament DIY making program, um, Arctic slime. We'll have a bunch of different kinds of slime. So oh, the kids are going to yes. love that one for <laughs> Yes, sure. anyone who's still into making slime can come to the library and make a bunch of different kinds. And we have a New Year's Eve, Eve, Eve party on the Saturday prior to New Year's Eve couple days before that <laughs> where we'll do a balloon drop at noon mm -hmm. and have cookies and milk and a big dance party so we have a lot of things happening in December. Yeah Christy it sounds like you stay very busy at the library. Um, as uh, one of the youth coordinators what's the most rewarding part about your job? Oh geez that's hard to say <laughs> it's all I mean so much fun I guess just seeing the reactions of the kids yeah. and seeing them come back you know year after year we've really seen a lot of kids grow up at the library and just come back you know between story times and craft programs and our kids book clubs and things like that it's just really great to see kids you know come back and just really get a lot of value out of the library that's very special Christy thank you so very much for uh, spending some time with us today <laughs> and these crafts they just look like so much fun here I think it's gonna be in an incredible event. Thanks so much for your time. If you would like some more information, you can visit davenportlibrary.com slash programs dash events, or you can find the events on the library's Facebook page. We're going to have all these details posted on ourquadcities.com. Stay with us. More Living Local is right after this.